Savage Life family, do not buy world coin. Now I'm gonna tell you exactly why. So this is an article here by Reuters. We also have an article here by BBC as they were one of the individuals who ended up testing world coin and exactly what it is. So when world coin ended up coming out, they gave people digital coins in exchange for a scan of their eyeballs, their retinal data. So in sites around the world, Thousands of people queued up to gaze into silver orbs on day one of the project's full launch. Now, to get a look of what the silver orbs look like, you can see this individual holding it here. And it sort of has a camera here where they are scanning people's retina. So the BBC visited a scanning site in London where people received free crypto tokens after going through the process. So Mr. Altman, the chief executive of OpenAI, which built Chatbot GPT, says he hopes the initiative will help confirm if someone is a human or a robot. So he believes in the future, AI is gonna get a lot more advanced. A lot of people are going to be out of jobs. It's very scary that the world is coming to this dystopia, but in order to differentiate on the web and in the cryptocurrency scene from human and AI, it's through your retina. So the process starts with scanning your face and iris to prove you are a person. And it takes about 10 seconds to stare into the orbs camera lens wait for a beep to confirm it has worked, and then sends the information over to the corporation. So interestingly, the orb operator says the silver ball used to talk to users, but customer feedback described it as creepy, so they ultimately ended up removing the voice before the launch. So after your retina is scanned, next step is that it is given a unique number, which is checked against the giant database to make sure it's the first time you've done it. Now, if it is the first time you've done it, the ball beeps again, and you are now on the database along with 2 million other humans at the time of writing. So 25 free world coin tokens are awarded on a completion which are currently valued at about $2. If we see here, it's currently about $2.25. So that times 25 pretty much means they are giving you $56 in order to scan your retina. If you believe the information of your retina and all of that, it's worth just $56, then definitely go ahead and have at it. But if you are a cryptocurrency investor planning on buying into WorldCoin, the only reason that this is majorly hyped is because, of course, it's the next big thing. It's a open AI project, and they believe that this is going to be the future. But think about it. If you are doing this just for the money, which is a lot of individuals in these third world countries, they, the first thing they're going to do is go ahead and sell it on the open market in order to use that money for things that they need. Why would they keep it if this could probably be a short term fortune, probably weeks of food supply in their third world country for just scanning their retina? Now, if you are in the US, if you are in a European country, in a first world country, I believe it's definitely not worth it. And as an investor, it would not be smart to hop directly in, especially if you're going in blindly. So this individual right here is named Sam Altman, who is the founder of this project. And he believes that AI will have significant economic implications and people will be greatly impacted by it. So he sees potential in universal basic income as a way to combat income inequality as AI takes on more of the tasks that humans currently perform. So world IDs can be used to reduce fraud when implementing a universal basic income as only real individuals can possess them. So this sounds incredibly scary, right? As you will need your retina in order to access your universal basic income, which is his world coin, in order to purchase things. This seems like the most control I've ever seen a corporation implement. Now they are mentioning that this is all openly sourced. You're able to see the source code and it's for the betterment of the world. But if you are in cryptocurrency for the decentralization factor, for the anonymity factor, then this is something that you don't want to touch with a five foot pole. So Vitalik Buterin had a couple of things to say about world now, Vitalik Buterin, if you don't know, he was one of the co-founders of Ethereum, and he said that 
World Point raises several concerns, especially with the iris scanning technology. Now, he argues that scanning irises could potentially reveal unintended information, and someone could determine if a person is in the World Point system just by scanning their iris. So, additionally, access to the hardware device called Orb might not be readily available to everyone, limiting widespread adoption. Imagine the amount of hacking that could go on if they're able to enter into this hardware device called the orb so buterin also questions the security of the orb as there is no way to verify if it was constructed without any singular back door and he suggests that the world coin foundation could potentially insert a back door allowing them to create fake human identities on the system which are iris imagine the amount of information that they could take from that iris especially if they are able to create this open world ai system that's pretty much able to answer anything in the world so it is a scary step taken in the wrong direction and i wanted to go ahead and talk about china here because china users have been seeking kyc verifications on the black market to access world coins crypto wallet world app so the app is not accessible through china's app stores due to the country's restrictions on foreign social media apps and data collection but world coin acknowledged the existence of such black market activities and stated that no sensitive data was shared they just shrugged it off and said yes we understand that individuals are using retina data already on the black market in order to access our world app but it is not a problem we assure you so they are already starting off at a rough start and as an investor you have to ask yourself is this something that you'd want to be invested in so there you go for some quick little news and information regarding world coin you guys go ahead and let me know what you think about this cryptocurrency project if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to smash that like and subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one